Now, are you team Kate or Megan? Let us know in the comments down below and let's get on with the list. Number 10, no mistress. Kate Middleton demands Prince William's mistress be banned from all royal family events. Now, for those of you who don't know, In Touch first broke the news that William may have cheated on Kate with Rose Hanbury. Apparently, the affair occurred when Kate was expecting Louis in 2018 and only came to light in 2019. The outlet alleged that Kate confronted her husband, but he reported reportedly laughed off the accusations. A prominent writer at the Times of London then seemingly confirmed the rumors when he tweeted, It is an affair. I haven't read the piece, but I know about the affair. Everyone knows about the affair, darling. Now, according to reports from several sources close to the royals, Kate has given strict orders to all members of the royal family. She has forbidden the attendance of Rose Hanbury, her husband's alleged mistress. Number 9. Employee Rules When it comes to the people who work for them, Kate and Prince William want the best of the best. That's why they have certain demands when it comes to employees. According to accounts, employees of the British royal family are required to have a keen eye for detail and exercise extreme caution. The royal household's director of staff recruitment admitted that she runs an incredibly difficult selection process. Additionally, the royal family has a zero tolerance policy for disclosure to the media, and staff members are required to always act with complete discretion. Additionally, as a show of risk, Respect, staff members who are in charge of Prince William and Kate's children are not permitted to refer to them as children. Instead, they must use their first names. It's also said that the pair are very particular about their wardrobe and forbids rumors about their closet from spreading. Number 8. Demands for New House In June 2022, the couple prepared to move their family out of London. The couple had been on the lookout for the perfect home. Now it took them a while to find the perfect place, with an insider saying the couple had three main demands for their new base. They were quite relaxed about what kind of house they moved into, but the first major requirement was that it was near good schools. They also wanted to ensure their move would allow them to be closer to the Queen, who at the time was permanently based in Windsor Castle. An insider said they had no other demands than a pleasant family home close to schools and the Queen. Another source added that the Cambridges are very keen for a modest home and feel the downsized cottage fits the bill. They said they were adamant they didn't want anything to show or anything that needed renovating or extra security so as not to be a burden on the taxpayer. Number 7. Prince George does chores. Prince George may be second in line to the British throne, but Prince William and Kate have demanded the future king does different household chores when he is on a break from school. On a visit to a goat farm in Wales with Prince William, Kate told how George had been responsible for moving animal feed on the estate. Now, the Prince of Wales added that all three children have rotating jobs on the Sandringham estate in English County of Norfolk. Number six, airplane demands. Flight attendants who have served Kate before have revealed the royal has made some truly bizarre requests, with royal correspondent Emily Andrews claiming that Kate has made some interesting demands about her dresses. Miss Andrews revealed that there have been occasions where Kate's dresses will be assigned their own seats on the plane. I've been on the plane where all of Kate's dresses had their own seats to make sure they were kept flat, the royal correspondent revealed. Miss Andrews continued, obviously when we get to the airport, especially when it's hand luggage only, we're trying to cram all of our toiletries into that plastic bag, but not the Duchess's dresses. Number 5. William at Home More It appears that in 2015, Kate made certain demands to Queen Elizabeth, and that was to give Prince Harry more work to do and let Prince William have more time at home with her and the kids. The Duchess had grown weary of endless joint and solo royal appearances she and William have had to make since she came back from her maternity leave, and she thought it was time for Harry to take on more royal meet and greets. Now, Queen Elizabeth took demands from no one, but it looks like she may have given in to Kate's request because she was desperate for the couple to work out their differences and fix their fractured marriage. Queen Elizabeth may have thought some time at home with the Prince George and Prince Charlotte would be good for the Cambridges, but I just think it's crazy that the Queen went along with this. Number 4. Meghan Must Apologize In Harry's memoir Spare, he details an argument that ensued between Kate and Meghan over comments Meghan allegedly made during Kate's third pregnancy. Kate demanded an apology at a 
reconciliatory tea in June 2018 between the two royal couples at Kensington Palace, according to Harry's memoir. He wrote, You talked about my hormones. We are not close enough for you to talk about my hormones, Kate told Meghan, according to Harry's book. Harry shares that the Princess of Wales was holding the side of a chair so hard during the conversations that her fingers turned white. Harry then recounted Meghan's confusion at Kate's offended reaction, sharing she often spoke to her friends in the same manner. Harry writes that William allegedly pointed at Meghan and said her rude comment was not the way things are done in Britain. According to Harry, Meghan then told William, take your finger out of my face. Now the tea was set up to repair a phone conversation Meghan and Kate had weeks prior to Meghan and Harry's May 2018 wedding ceremony. Harry wrote that Meghan suggested Kate had baby brain during the call after Kate forgot an insignificant detail according to the outlet. At the time, Kate was pregnant with Prince Louis and as you heard, the tea didn't go too well. Number 3. Tell the media Meghan made me cry In 2018, an insider claimed that Meghan made Kate cry following a stressful dress fitting just weeks before Meghan married Prince Harry. Princess Charlotte was 3 and had been trying on her outfit just weeks before the wedding and royal sources said the pressure of the stressful fitting became too much for her now sister-in-law and that the Duchess of Cambridge Kate was left shaken and in tears. But then in the 2021 Oprah interview, Meghan hit back at the tabloid stories that claimed she made Kate cry. She said a few days before the wedding, she was upset about something pertaining to the flower girl dresses and it made me cry and it really hurt my feelings and I thought in the context of everything else that was going on in those days leading to the wedding, it didn't make sense to not be just doing whatever everyone else is doing, which is trying to be supportive, knowing what was going on with my dad and whatnot. Now Meghan refused to offer more details about their argument, explaining, I don't think it's fair to her to get into the details of that because she apologized and I've forgiven her. What was hard to get over was being blamed for something that not only I didn't do, but that happened to me. And the people who were a part of our wedding going to our comms team and saying, I know this didn't happen. The Duchess added that she never wanted to fight to receive press attention and that it hurt how the media reversed the blame. I would have never wanted that to come out about her ever, even though it had happened, she said. I protected that from ever being out in the world. But Kate let the lies pile up in the media to make herself look good. Number 2. Always be formal In episode 2 of Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary, Meghan opened up about the first time she met the Prince and Princess of Wales. She explained even when Will and Kate came over and I had met her for the first time. They came for dinner, I remember I was in ripped jeans and I was barefoot. I was a hugger, always being a hugger, I didn't realize that was really jarring for a lot of Brits. I guess I started to understand very quickly that the formality on the outside carried through on the inside. She also admitted that she didn't know what she was doing, as there's a forward-facing way of being, and then he closed the door and go, you can relax now, but that formality carries over on both sides, and that was surprising to me, she said. So if you ever get the chance to meet Kate, I'd say be as formal as you can be. And coming in at number one is delete photos. In 2012, topless photos of Kate marked the front pages of newspapers. Prince William and Kate Middleton have begun legal proceedings for breach of privacy against the magazine's publishers, the St. James Palace said in a statement after calling the publication of photos a grotesque and totally unjustifiable invasion of the young couple's privacy. Now, The French magazine Closer published a five-page spread of photos of what appears to be Kate on vacation, sunbathing, under the headline, oh my god. The magazine defended the decision to publish these photos, saying in a statement on its website that the photos would only appear in the French, not the British edition, and were not degrading. The royal couple was reported told about the photos as they ate breakfast before visiting a mosque in Malaysia. A palace source told ABC News that at first the couple simply felt saddened, but as the day wore on, sadness turned into shock and anger and ultimately resulted in a decision to take legal action against the magazine. Their royal highnesses have been hugely saddened to learn that a French publication and a photographer have invaded their privacy in such a grotesque and totally unjustifiable manner. And honestly, I feel like all of this is very justifiable though because what the heck. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 most outrageous Kate Middleton demands that will leave you speechless. Which demand do you think was the craziest? Let us know in the comments down below and we'll see you next time.